Hey guys, it's me, a little far fetched, and welcome back to Pokemon G game. Uh, Pokemon Light Platinum Nuzlocke. We already got an encounter here, I think. I, I think it was actually Bronzor. Today we are. I think we're supposed to go through Mount Zeri, I'm not for sure. I haven't fought any of the trainers here, so. I'm guessing that's where it's supposed to go. Uh, air cutter. Why did you miss? It's not fair. He went for the same move, and he actually hit it. Okay, hold on. Why am I not using my other level 51 Pokemon that's actually good against this type? Thunderfang. Okay, Staravia. Looks like these people are gonna have some flying type Pokemon. <coughs> Sorry. I've been sick lately. And the residual coughing is still existing. Like I said, I believe this is the right way to go. I'm not for certain. Like I said, also, I've not played this game before. This is an all-new experience. I barely look things up in between episodes because I'm not that smart. Wait a minute. It said I got Surf. Hold on. In the last episode, it said I got the ability to learn Surf. I think maybe there was a reason it said that. I think I was supposed to get Surf. I'll keep going. I'll keep going, and if we find surf along the way in this mountain, great. If not, I have an escape rope that I just picked up, so we'll be able to leave. <clears throat> So we're not trapped here. Golem. Look at how overleveled Fralligator is because of that last battle. <clears throat> last episode, I meant. Like, he's almost level 60. I don't think I'll ever have to do any training with him. Other than, like, trainer battles. I have no idea what... Levels... The Elite Four... Are in this game. No! Okay, I'm just looking it up now, and we may want to make sure we get some training in, because the champion's got level 77 Pokemon. Hmm. 
What's this way? Which, at the rate that we're going now, I think would be fine. <clears throat> the other bad thing is that this is a Nuzlocke, so if I ever lose a Pokemon during the league, that's it. That's it for him. That's their last battle. Soul Rock. I haven't seen that Pokemon in a wild battle in a long time. Oh look, it's another battle that Croconaw for Alligator can do. Amazing it. I think what I'm going to do is, in between this episode and next episode, I don't know if we're going to get to the gym this episode, but in between this and next episode, I'm going to train to level 60, and I feel like that's the last bit of training I'm going to need to do. Because we still got three gyms left, probably a final encounter with the team. Um, team Steam. And so I think we should be fine for one more training session, at least maybe to 62. Yeah, I'll get to 62. And then we should be fine to complete the rest of the game without doing so bad. Which, hey! I feel like... We're gonna be fine for the rest of the... Okay, no. I feel like we're gonna be fine <clears throat> for the rest of the game's gym battles and trainer battles. I don't think those are actually going to be a problem anymore. Plus, we got so many encounters left that if we do happen to lose a Pokemon in between now and the gym, I feel like it's going to be fine as well. Let me just heal for alligator. Do I have any? Okay, I have a ton of hyper potions. <clears throat> Playing a lot of Ultra Sun and Moon shiny hunting with like the amount of money that you get at the end of the game. It's really made me depend on four stores way too much. Focus band. Medicham. Does I think I have No, but then that's not gonna do really anything. <clears throat> Is it? No, it's not gonna do much.
I'm gonna switch over to Peach. Poor Zeph, that means he's gonna be the lowest level on our team. After this battle, I meant to go to Charizard. Let's try out Flamethrower. Goodbye. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna make it to the end of this cave by the end of the episode, but I don't know if we're gonna make it to the next city with a gym. <clears throat> I have no clue what the next city with the gym is. I could say this over and over and over again. I have not played this game before. Wait, don't I have repels? I feel like I have repels. But I want that chance to get a shiny Pokemon in the wild, so I have not used him. Hold on, I'm just gonna... Let's use a Repel. Uh, yeah, every Pokemon has a special ability. Take... Charizard, for example, Charizard has the ability Drought, which negates, well, it doesn't negate water moves, that's Desolate Land, I think. That's Mega, not Mega Groudon, uh, hold on, it's Groudon, but it's Primal Groudon's ability. Rock Smash. Yeah, the desolate land completely gets rid of water type moves and I think Kyogre's Primordial Sea yeah makes water type move fire type moves useless the Thunderstone I'm going to take that that might be useful I can toss this I don't need it I have a bunch of super repels I don't need Ooh, there's another Pokeball. I wonder what it could have inside. That means I'm gonna have to really go look for a PC and start depositing most of the items that I have in my bag. Because I'm starting to run out of room. See, why can't it be the good old days of now, whenever you have as much room as you could possibly want. Oh no, my accuracy fell. Too bad I still can hit attacks, and you can't do a thing about it. Sand Slash. <sighs> Just keep on spamming Croconaw. Froligator, don't worry. Once we get out of the caves, I feel like 
he's gonna be able to be useless. I'm not saying <clears throat> I'm not saying that he will be useless, he'll probably still be used a lot because he's one of my favorite members on the team, even though I hate for alligator. Oh, we got another escape rope. Like we needed one of those. Okay, there's nothing over there. My Pokemon are not low leveled, I'm telling you that. In fact, I think I'm over leveled sometimes. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop using Krokna so much. Uh, he's got counter. Okay, good. Okay, good, that's fine. That's perfectly fine, Hitmonchan. See, if he would have used... If I would have turned to Charizard... And I would have used Wing Attack and it wouldn't have killed. And he would have used Counter. I think Charizard would have been gone. <laughs> it would be all my fault. <laughs> Defeated him. Okay, so I'm gonna switch away from. No, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I feel like Charizard could definitely take on some. I think I feel like I know where we're supposed to go, but a part of me wants to go. Th a part of me wants to go that way up. Terra, you better give up. You're surrounded by me and the Pokemon police. It'll be better if you surrender for now for an investigation. Not a chance, Steven. You'll have to defeat me first. Steelix, use Earthquake. Metagross, use Psychic. Terra, you're under arrest in the name of the Pokemon Society and the Pokemon police. Guards, take her. Steven Stone! Return, Metagross. What a relief, Fetch. You've... We finally managed to capture one of the leaders of Team Steam. We can interrogate her to find out their plans and work our ways to stop them before they happen. I'll let you know anything I find out. This is a great achievement for the Pokemon Society. I'm so excited that I almost forgot to give you something from Professor Jasmine. Yes, Surf. I have a better water move on Freligator. This HM contains Surf, a technique that you'll need in it. Your journey to explore the oceans, lakes, and seas of the world. Perfect! Now I have a better water move. Okay, so let's just. Oh, yeah! Snorlax can learn surf because there's that one episode of the Pokemon anime. Where Snorlax could learn serve. Yeah, I'm gonna replace Water Pulse. There's no debate about it. This is probably the best Water type move. Because it's got perfect accuracy, unlike Hydro Pump, which happens to be the most the most attacking. 
power water type move. I feel like we're gonna make it to the next town, <clears throat> but we're not going to. <clears throat> we're not going to get where we're going. There's not gonna be another gym town. We might get to the next gym town, actually, and I might take on the gym. If we do. If we do get to the gym, I will take it on in this episode. If it's before the 25 minute mark. Is this an item I can pick up? Yes, it is. It's another Pokeball! You know, those items that catch Pokemon? That are very useful in a Nuzlocke, when you can't risk losing your Pokemon. I feel like this is going to be a fighting trainer. It's not a fighting trainer. You know what? Why am I not doing this? Poor Zap recently has not gotten enough screen time. We need a better electric type move on Zap as well. Like, Thunderfang and Spark aren't doing that much. Is he gonna have Squirtle too? Because the last trainer didn't even have anything to do with the Squirtle line, and it was upsetting. Squirtle. Squirtle is my least favorite <clears throat> of the Kanto starters. Not that it's a terrible Pokemon, I just don't like it. Your Charmander hasn't even evolved into a Charmeleon. That kind of needs to happen first. How far is this cave? Oh, look at that. Route 12. That's a new route! Please. Please. Whoa! You just completely change into a new person! Once you go surfing. I didn't think it was even possible to completely change into a new person, but... I guess I was wrong. When I always want to shift to Zap, you always send out a ground type. It's fine. It's fine, even with both fire attacks lowered. What did I even accomplish here? Even with this ground type disadvantage. <clears throat> On second thoughts, I have no clue if we can do this. If I hit, that's great. I win the battle. But if I don't... I can't hurt a little bit. Yeah, let's, let's not do that. Let's... Let's not risk my... 
looks ray. Snorlax can tank attacks like this. Okay, so we're way past the 25 minute. Well, we just passed the 25 minute mark. Which means I'm gonna see what this encounter is, and then we're gonna get to the next town. And then we're gonna end off the episode. Because we're not fighting a gym today. Because we're past the 25 minute mark, and I said if we can get to the next city. Before then, then I'll do whatever. I'll fight the gym. If there even was one in this town. So, our Route 12 encounter. Just gotta wait till the repel wears off. Is a Joltic. Uh, I can just chuck an Ultra Ball and this should catch, right? <clears throat> like, if Luck Trek goes down, this is a good replacement. Not saying that Lux Ray will ever be defeated because Lux Ray is such a good Pokemon. It's the Ice Break Pokemon. Oh, it's apparently Wall Rain. I'm gonna call this Pokemon. It's the female, right? That's the female. No, that's the male. I'm gonna call him Henry. Don't know where I'm getting the name Henry from, but it works. We're gonna have to fight at least one more trainer, it looks like. Actually, you know what, let's see what the encounters are. Not what the encounters are. Let's see what other Pokemon we could have gotten. Instead of Henry the Joltik. On second thought, that animation for the combined rain and intimidating factor is way too long of an animation. It's always a ground type. It comes out when Zap is here. It's fine. It's fine. This game just doesn't want me to level up Zap at all. I should be fine. Ooh, that was real close. Might want to make sure that does not happen. Yeah, let's just not let that happen again. It did absolutely nothing. I don't even know what that was supposed to accomplish there. Gibble. That's the little baby guard chump. With the little fin. That has a chip in the fin. Perfect. It's only gonna be 500, but still. Hip, no, no, that's a Pokemon Zap can take down. Easily. Because he's got crunch. Oh, yeah, these are like the headbutt trees.
Hmm. You know, it's just another super potion. Uh, where is the way out of this place? Because the constant rain is kind of pretty loud. Butterfree! Poor Butterfree, it can't even do anything against me anyway. What's Rage Powder? What kind of move is that? Hey, I'm the only Pokemon on the field. How are you going to not be the one I attack? That means Butterfree is actually pretty fast. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I survived it. What is Luxray's level up move set? There's gotta be a. Okay, okay, I just realized Heracross is fighting type. That's not. that's not good at all. Um. It's not good at all, it's not good at all. Yeah, that could have ended. Uh No 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 Okay so the best electric type move it has is Thunderfang. Because Wild Charge does damage to yourself. And I don't want that. Oh, of course, Thunderbolt and Thunder. If only I could find those TMs. Come on! Why is there so much animation before actually getting into the battle? I know a ton of things are happening at once. Uh, the rain is falling. Both Pokemon have to enter the battle. And... Um, don't do that much damage, don't do that much damage, don't do that much... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna use Charizard for this one. It's not raining anymore. And Heracross. I swear, if Heracross somehow lives, wing attack and does counter, I'm gonna be a little mad. But it didn't, so we're moving on to the next, probably, trainer. Yep. 
So let me guess, you have thunder. You do have Alexio. But my Lux Ray is completely stronger. It's gonna do the same effect. Luckily, I don't think it's gonna do anything to me. Okay, 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 good, good. I'm risking it. And that's not good. Electabuzz. Do I have a ground type Pokemon? No, I do not. But you know what? I have the next best thing Snorlax. You know, I feel like if any Pokemon in the future ever got the Trunt ability, I feel like it would be Snorlax. Because all it does is, in the anime, whenever Ash has it, it usually did nothing for him. It just laid around, slept, and ate. That's why he couldn't use it in his Orange Islands League battle. Because all it did was just lay around and cause a fuss for him. Even though Ash was always nice to hit his Snorlax. Unless he never did feed it. And that's why he was always hungry all the time. Go, Scyther, take out all these trees at once. Look, you're here again. I think Destiny is branding us as rivals on our journeys. Today I'll show you the results of my training. Really, you think you're strong enough to take me down? Oh, that, that could be, that could be a thing, if only Thunderfang did nothing, it actually did something, I didn't think it was going to actually do anything. Lucario, this should do nothing, right? Right? Wait, Lucario's Steel type. Okay, I thought it was gonna miss, and it always misses. Yeah. I knew it wasn't gonna do anything. Although this should take it out. Next, we've got Scyther. I'm gonna use Zap because Scyther really can't do anything to me. Oh, look at that! No longer is Zap gonna be the lowest level. Scyther is, I think... Yeah, flying type. I'm trying to remember what each type does, what each type is. Wow, it's like you're invincible. You're always one step ahead of me each time we battle. That was a great battle. You really fought to the best of your ability. I'll be stronger next time. Heh, <laughs> no you won't.
Oh, there's there's more. I thought that meant we were almost done with the route. <sighs> oh, I think that's maybe it's right. Crunch. Oh no! Static. Why did you only have a Pikachu? Okay. It seems like we're a bit far from the town. So, I'm gonna end off this episode actually in the middle of a route. Something I don't usually do. So yeah, uh, next time we will probably take on the gym. I think there's a gym in Serenity City. Feels like there would be. Usually... Usually... I'm trying to think. Usually in Pokemon games, once you get past, like, the third gym, every town from then on is gonna have a gym. Some exceptions, like, I think in X and Y, there was a few towns that didn't have gyms. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.